morning, YouTube. Oh, my Lanta, another month gone. But it's time for my monthly favorites. So it's time for October, which is my favorite month out of the year. So it's the most wonderful time of the year. First, you're like, Meg, this isn't available anymore. Why are you showing it to me? I'm not showing you the palette, even though I really like the palette. I'm showing you a specific shade. Can you guess which one? Huh? Which one do you think I'm gonna talk about, huh? I'm gonna give you like three guesses. That one? That one, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna talk about that one. The one that doesn't have anything on it. This isn't a color baby love. It's such a pretty neutral colored blush. You might not even be able to see it. It's like almost invisible. That's the color right there. Just like a super neutral peachy blush. That matches every single eye look I do, so I just don't have to worry. I can just go into here and get Baby Love and put it on my cheeks. I know they sell it individually. This palette doesn't exist anymore, but get it individually, you won't regret it. Next is the lovely Wet n Wild Mango Contouring Palette. This is such a good, it's in Dolce de Leche. Such a perfect cool tune. I don't usually contour because I'm terrible at it, but this makes it easy, just a little with the actual Wet n Wild Contour Brush. Also a favorite of mine. This and this, down the cheek, perfection. Subtle, beautifully, easily blended contour without even barely having to blend it. It's so awesome. I I don't know why I didn't buy this sooner. I was like, I'm not really into the contouring thing. I'm kind of terrible at it. Every time I try to do it, it looks muddy or dirty. This is like my perfect shade and perfect formula. Can you tell that I liked this? This is the Marcel 3-in-1 Micellar Solution. This came in a birch box and it's amazeballs. Put this on an eye, like a makeup wipe, and you're good to go. Like, I can't take my makeup off with just makeup wipes. It takes like seven wipes and I wake up with breakouts the next day because it just doesn't get all my makeup. And then you're like black under your eyes when you wake up. Even though you thought you got all of the eye makeup, this takes all your eye makeup off. Dump it a little bit and a makeup towelette and put it on your eye. Perfection. Another Wet n Wild brush I've been digging is the Blusher brush. It's just like such a perfectly like little fluffer. A little fluffer. These are so cheap. They're like 99 cents. What the hell? You are so awesome. My soul child is this lipstick. Not the one I'm wearing right now. But this is the Color Blur. The Color Blur. In Plum Please. This stays in my apron at work and people like beg me to wear it because it's just the most beautiful formula and beautiful color for fall. It's like dark without being a creeper. It's like perfect. So I can like go up to my tables at work and they won't think I'm like a vampire. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm like almost through it. I'm gonna have to buy another one. So everyone at work is always like, Meg, please let me borrow that really pretty lipstick you have. And I'm like, okay, fine. Jesus. Another love of mine has been the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This isn't a brush tip. This is like one of those little floopy floopy sponge tips. I like sponge tips. I'll, like sometimes. I just want a sponge tip. It's so black. So thin, does my wings so nicely, I can't even complain. So cheap, what is there to complain about? The Real Techniques setting brush that I actually love for highlighting my face. Just a little mm -hmm, and a little uh -huh, and it's like perfection. I love this so much, it's like $9.99, which is weird, or $8.99, because Real Techniques brushes are like from the drugstore, but they're not the cheapest. I just love it. It's I've had it for a while. I've been using it back. I've used it to highlight back in the day, and now I'm using it to highlight again, and I've definitely been enjoying it the month of September. Alright, another lip color that's been staying in my apron. And it is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in Beloved. It definitely dries a little bit darker than this, but ugh, look at all that pigment. It dries a little more terracotta than that, but it's like a beautiful balance of pink and terracotta, but being like nude when it dries. It's just so pretty. And I love these. They stay on for a long time. You'll start to get that weird, like, I've been sucking on something whip, but if you just up, like, you know, I'm at work forever and I'm talking forever and running around forever. I may as well just add that in there. So I just really like it. It's a pretty color. It's a good formula. Dig. Another lip color is one that I've worn in my products. I regret buying too. It is Lumiere 2 by Kathleen Lights from ColourPop. It is an ultra matte. It's like, a lilac-y, dusty purple. 
something that I wouldn't normally vibe with, but I definitely do. I like the way it looked. Um, it definitely takes me a little bit of courage to wear this because it's definitely different. It's not as like, hey, this is something I can wear every day, but it's really pretty and it's cool and I don't have another color like it in my collection and it's like a cool tone purple that I feel like is pretty for the fall. Just sip my coffee, wear it, watch the leaves fall, you know? I've been on, like really desperate to find a good foundation lately and I went back to the L'Oreal Invisible Pro Matte. This is like almost empty, but I haven't tried the glow one yet. I like glowy skin more than matte, but there's something about this formula that I like. Well, even though I have dry skin, it doesn't bother me. Like I will mix one drop of Physician's Formula Argan Oil in it and then put it on my face and it's bomb. I mean, it's really good. It's the foundation I've been using the most this month. I am on the hunt for a holy grail foundation again that is water based but in the meantime i've been using this and even though it's not water based it is a really good foundation and i was reminded of that this month of what a good foundation this is is those are my monthly favorites sorry if it seems like i really rushed through them it's just my last video it was like 30 minutes long it's gonna be such a bitch to edit um but i get excited when i talk about my favorites so i talk fast and i talk and hit those points fast and i just I don't, sometimes I just don't know what to say other than like, I really like this, I really like this, and I really like this. So that's just me and my personality. If you don't like it, let's just cry together. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous week. Bye!